Hello friend, I am Naval. You are watching Code with Naval. Welcome to Java series part 68. In the last video, we saw Java shutdown hook. In this video, we are going to discuss daemon thread. So let's first understand what is a daemon thread. Daemon thread in a Java is a service provider thread that provides a service to the user thread. Its life depends on a user thread. Example, when all thread died, JVM terminate all daemon thread automatically. There are many Java daemon thread running automatically. Here you can see example garbage collection finalize this. These are daemon thread and this running a background. We can see all daemon thread by using this command j console. We can simply open a command prompt and can type there j console and there we get a all. There we get a all background daemon thread. This command provide information about a loaded classes, memory uses, running thread etc. Let's see few point related daemon thread. It provides a service or we can say support to user thread for a background supporting task. Daemon thread has a no rule in a their own life. Daemon thread life depend on a user thread. Daemon thread is a low priority thread. That's why this thread execute at a last moment. Daemon thread only used for a provider service to the user thread. It's daemon thread don't have their own purpose. Daemon thread don't have their own life those executing only for a user thread support purpose okay let's open eclipse and i'll show you how can we create a daemon thread okay i'll simply create here one class and i'll give this class name part 68 part 68 and here we simply create a okay here we simply create a one thread class let's create a class and this class name is a part 68 demo okay and this class extend thread class okay thread class and here we simply override run method okay let's override here run method run method and remove this unnecessary space inside a run method we will simply check we will simply check current thread is a demon thread or not so how can we check we will simply use here if condition if thread thread dot current thread dot is daemon okay if this one is a daemon then we will simply print here syso thread simply print here thread is daemon if this thread is not daemon then we simply print here else and in else here we simply print system dot out dot print ln no daemon thread daemon thread okay here we simply write our condition if thread is a daemon or not simply here we are checking thread is a daemon or not now let's create inside a main class we will simply write a main method okay inside a main method we will simply create a two object this class two object let's create those first is a t1 equal to new part dem part 68 okay part 68 demo and we will create a one more t2 object let's copy this and paste here and change this reference variable name t2 and we simply convert this t1 and t2 this both both thread are a normal thread now now i want to convert this t1 in a daemon thread so how can we do that we have a for that we have a t1 dot set method okay let's add here t1 dot set daemon okay here you can see set a daemon and here we can assign a true or false if we set true then it will become a daemon thread okay then let's start one by one both thread t1 dot start t1 dot start and t2 dot start okay here we simply started two thread so what we done here First we create a one class and that class extend a thread and there we simply override this run method and the inside of this run method we simply write a condition and check is thread is a daemon or not this current thread is a daemon or not okay then here we simply create a two object and one thread convert a daemon thread okay let's save and run this and here you can see this first first time this first thread executing this first first thread is a started this first thread is a daemon thread here we simply set a daemon as a true okay 
so in this way we can simply write uh, we can simply convert any normal thread to daemon thread now let's check this j console command and how many thread are running in a background let's check i'll simply open a command prompt let's open this command prompt and type here j j console okay here you can see when i type here j console here we got a one ui one populate here one ui populated here you can see here we have a this sun tools j console and this dot j console let's click on this okay local process and here uh, insecure connection click this insecure connection and here you can see here we get uh, this ui in this ui here we have a few tabs overview memory thread class vm summary and you can see here heap memory then thread total currently total 37 live thread then here classes this 3866 classes running currently okay cpu uses all these things you can see here then second tab is the memory here you can see this much memory uses now here you can see max mean command gc then here we have a thread you can see here thread this all thread running in a background here you can see finalize then single dispatcher attach listener all this thread running here then here we have a classes here you can see current classes loaded total classes then here we have a vm summary in this vm summary you get all virtual memory virtual machine summary here you can see in a virtual machine summary here we have all thread detail live thread is a 37 then peak is a 38 and here you can see daemon thread is a 31 okay here we get all daemon thread detail then here we have some m beans bean classes this java bean classes internally okay if this j console command is not working in your system then you might be not configure properly environment variable not set properly environment variable so you can set your environment variable you can simply type here environment variable and here you get environment variable if you if you didn't watch part 5 this series part 5 then you can watch part 5 and there we there we explain properly how can we set this environment variable all these things so in this video that's it we will see next topic in the next video till that bye bye